the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, and with your spirit, as you come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries of our Savior Jesus Christ, celebrating the first martyrs of the church. One may say the first martyrs of the church were the infants of holy innocence, but the first martyrs of the church are those who have lived and proclaimed the faith. Let us now then with a single heart, a humble heart, seek the love, mercy of our God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Bow your head in prayer. O oh God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a struggle and ever rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounced over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from it, its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no love for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frigid and frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought, up a, I brought upon you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire. Yet you return not to me, says the Lord. So now I have deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, lead me in your justice, O Lord. 
At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you, for you, O God, delight not in wickedness, nor evil men remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. You hate all evildoers, you destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. Because, but I, because of my abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But, this, but Jesus was asleep. The disciples came and awoke Jesus saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. Jesus said to the disciples, Why are you terrified? O you of little faith. Then Jesus got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. So here we are, we have survived that little bit of a tempest that came upon us yesterday evening. I was um, walking with my little companion and I was saying, oh, come on, let's go because it looks... <laughs> And as we were coming up 37th Street, you know, I began to feel these huge drops of rain hitting me. And I was it, we got to go. And as I put one foot inside the door, I just heard the thunder clapped and the rain started. And next thing I know, the electricity went out. <laughs> and then this morning at 2 o'clock again, I said, it's getting very warm in here and I'm hearing a buzzing sound. The electricity went out again. So it's some, I guess it came back on somewhere between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock this morning because when I opened my eyes, I said, okay, time to get up. And the electricity was on, so the alarm clocks didn't work, so it didn't make a difference. But here it is today. We have survived that. We lost a couple of trees in the neighborhood. Hopefully, um, I know some people um, were reporting on the news last night that basements were flooded. Um, I hope that being in this neighborhood did not suffer any great um, severe damage of any sort to property or to life, most important. So here it is today as we listen to the scripture. The last, the, the holy martyrs of the church, you know. You know, remember when we celebrate the holy innocence, we say those little children during the time of Herod's persecution looking in search of Jesus Christ were pretty much the first martyrs, one may say. And then we had the celebration of St. Stephen on Boxing Day, you see, you know, one of the first martyrs of the church. In the church, there are many firsts, okay? Um, but here it is, we, as we celebrate, you know, these early martyrs of the church, you know, we are mindful that, you know, through perseverance that sometimes has its suffering, 
you know, God helps us to find enlightenment. And in that enlightenment, we begin to find a deeper awareness of our faith. So when we listen today for the first reading from the prophet Amos, we hear about, you know, the people of Israel, you know, you know, when things are going well in any of our lives, how close is God to us? Right? You know, yes, you know, it's, you know, thank you God for this day and thank you for all you have done for me and all that you do for me, right? When things are going sideways, how close are you to God? You are hanging on, we are hanging on to God's hems, right? And not from the back, but from the front, because we want God to see us also. But in all of it, you know, what is the one thing that must remain, and I guess this is always a problem with Israel, is fidelity. It was a problem with our own lives today. You know, how many relationships we know pre-marriage, post-marriage have ended because of infidelity, right? How many, you know, jobs have, have ended for people because between employer and employee because of infidelity, right? With God, how often has God been faithful to us who have been less than faithful? How often has God, you know, tried to correct our wayward ways and still be faithful to us? There's always a challenge in relationships. But what makes sense to us is how in the perseverance the human person the essence of who we are, this godly presence, is purified. And how we can be a better presence of our God with more faithful hearts, a deeper relationship, an enlightened relationship with our God. And I'm sure, you know, for many of us, you know, the, 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 we, I know 2020, I mean, how, how often have we have spoken about 2020, right? It was supposed to be the year that, you know, all would be, you know, well for us. Whoever thought that, you know, the ending of 2019 would have had such a dramatic cause and effect in 2020. What is bringing us through this? Is it faith? Is it trust in humanity? Is it a combination of both? Because God loves and trusts us because this is why God is always remaining faithful to us. And we have to likewise do the same. And that's why when we listen to this gospel today of you know, Jesus' disciples you know, in this boat in the sea and, it's, and being, you know, tossed about by the winds, you know, um, I don't know what it means to be like, I have never experienced being in a boat that is being tossed about, you know, um, I have feet so I walk so I stay on land, you understand, but I, I don't know, I've heard of people, you know, who said, you know, they have been on cruises and, you know, they have felt a little bit of the turbulence on these big boats, I don't know. I mean, I saw, you know, parts on, and not in its entirety, the movie Titanic, and, and I've seen other movies where, you know, people have, you know, experienced these things and, and the terror in their eyes and in their voice. And I guess that's what, you know, these disciples are experiencing, a fear of losing their lives. What could one man do that a group can't. And the miraculous thing in it is this, and it continually calls the church to be attentive, how God spoke one word, and that one word is sufficient to save all. Not some, but all. 
all who want to be saved all who want to be saved okay and the disciples would experience that in this boat that this one man is sufficient to save so many and I'm sure among these men some of them were probably fishermen who would have experience of the seas we know that Jesus Christ was a son of a carpenter right so being knowledgeable about the sea and tides and winds and it's not in this forte but here it is these men from seeing the working of God in Jesus place their trust hopefully for us when we look around when we know of the tragedies of our life, when we, know of the, when we know of the joys of our lives, and we look around and look into them, we can see the fidelity of God to us. And in that case, can we then be faithful to God? When things are going well, thank you God. Talk to you later things are going sideways oh God here I am front and center hanging on to your very hem do you see me do you see me you know there is the the one story that you know comes to mind and, and really has very little connection to this but the story of the rich man and Lazarus at this gate. And the only one that paid attention to Lazarus, the only thing was the dog or the dogs. And in the end, you know, Lazarus and Father Abraham are there together. And the rich man saying, you know, Father Abraham, send someone to help me. And if she can't help me, to help my brothers. And the response is that I have, I have. Response of God, I have, and I will always be faithful. But in return, we must also be faithful. Trusting in the God whom the winds and the seas obey, we humbly turn to him with our prayers and petitions. For the church, may God inspire our leaders as true ministers of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lead nations and people, may the Holy Spirit give them fortitude and courage. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in the storms of life, may the Lord bring them comfort through his body, the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our, work, for our, worship, for our worship in community this day, may God bless us and keep us free from all evil. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithfully parted, particularly those who have no one to pray for them. May they live forever in the joy of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sisters and brothers, sisters and the scroll of the sick, for their healing in mind, body, and soul, for their caregivers, the God's renewing grace in their lives and ministries, for all our first responders, for all who are in the protective services, for their support, for their consolation, for our thank you, for their families. For all the prayers you bring before God this day from the silence of our hearts.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today we celebrate the memorial of the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Catholic Church and for the intention of Mr. and Mrs. Frank Claude in memoriam. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God our Father, we praise you for your kindness and ask you to hear the prayers of your family, which we ask through your Son, Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bless the you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. O, oh, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggles the victory is yours through Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfalls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks at the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, Jesus said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Nicholas Tomas, your bishop and his assistant bishops, our clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Saint Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Vincent Ferrer, our patron saint, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please remember at the exchange of peace, you just bow to each other, you don't wave your hands, you don't send the peace sign, just turn to each other and you just bow your head reverently. Remember at this reception of communion, you keep your mask on when you receive, you say the body of Christ, you step to the side, you consume the host and you put your mask back on, okay? You only take your mask off when you step to the side. Don't take it off before because I don't want to get into trouble. At the Savior's command and for my divine requests, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace. Okay. Bow your head, not wave your hands. Just bow your head to each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, O Lord my God. Amen. Please stand by your head in prayer. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please remember, um, at the end of Mass, if you wish to stay and pray, you can do so in the section in the back. The front section is going to be closed off so that it can begin sanitizing in the front section so it will be ready for Mass tomorrow. Um, and then at the close of the church, then it will sanitize the back part of it. So, um, so they just keep us all safe during this new experience of existence. It, it will pass, but in our lives will hopefully be safer and better in a, in, in a healthier way at the end of it. Um, today ends the end of the, the end of the sixth month of June, of the year, sorry. June ends the sixth month of the year, right? So we're on the other side of this year now. Let's hope that the other part of this year is going to be one that truly sends us forward with a deeper faith and a healthier mind, body, and soul. Have a blessed and holy day, everyone. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
who are in the peace of Christ to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises receive.